Hello everyone. Giant solar farms are becoming increasingly common, providing humanity with a vital source of renewable energy. According to the International Renewable Energy Agency, by 2030, the cumulative value of raw materials recoverable from end-of-life solar panels worldwide is expected to reach around 450 million US dollars, equivalent to the current cost of raw materials needed to produce about 60 million new panels. Recycling is a critical solution to reuse valuable materials inside these panels. But how is this process carried out? In today's video, we will explore the detailed journey of recycling a solar panel, from the moment it is dismantled to when its internal materials are reclaimed. Before diving into the specific process, let's first learn about the structure of a solar panel and why they need to be recycled. A typical solar panel has a lifespan of about 25 to 30 years. After that, their efficiency drops significantly, making them less effective for continued use. However, if not recycled properly, these panels can become waste that poses a substantial threat to the environment. A solar panel is composed of various components, each of which can be recycled. From the aluminum frame surrounding the protective glass surface to the photovoltaic cells made of silicon. All these parts have value. Moreover, some thin film solar panels contain rare metals like cadmium, tellurium, and indium, which we certainly do not want to waste. So how does the solar panel recycling process work? The answer lies in advanced technologies and specialized processes designed to recover these valuable materials. The most exciting aspect is that up to 90% of materials from old panels can be recovered, helping to protect the environment and reduce reliance on extracting natural resources. Now let's dive into the specifics of the recycling process. From the collection, sorting, dismantling, to the extraction and reuse of materials like silicon and precious metals. All steps will be explained clearly but thoroughly, ideal for young people interested in technology and environmental preservation. The first step in the recycling process is collecting and sorting the solar panels. At solar farms around the world, when panels reach the end of their lifespan or become damaged, they are gathered and sent to specialized recycling plants. These are not ordinary waste processing facilities, but high-tech centers equipped with modern machinery. Once the panels arrive at the plant, they are sorted. There are two main types of panels we need to focus on, silicon panels and thin film panels. This step is crucial because each type requires a different recycling process. Silicon panels are the most common on the market, accounting for about 90% of solar panels currently in use. They are made from multiple layers of materials, with the most important being the silicon photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight into electricity. On the other hand, thin film panels are less common but contain rare metals like cadmium and tellurium, requiring a more complex process. So how do the recycling processes differ for silicon and thin film panels? For silicon panels, the focus is on recovering silicon and other materials like aluminum, glass, and copper. Meanwhile, thin film panels require chemical treatments to extract precious metals. This sorting step is crucial because failing to separate the panels by type would make the recycling process inefficient and could result in wasted valuable resources. Advanced technology is key to maximizing the use of these resources. Modern recycling plants can process thousands of solar panels each day with a sorting accuracy rate of up to 99%. After sorting, the next step is dismantling. This process begins by removing the larger components like the aluminum frame and wiring. Aluminum is one of the easiest metals to recycle, 
and we can recycle 100% of the aluminum from solar panels without losing any quality. Recycling plants use specialized aluminum frame cutting machines to ensure that the dismantling process is quick and precise. These machines not only speed up the process, but also protect other components of the panel from damage. Next, we'll look at how these materials are efficiently processed and reused for new applications. Glass is a crucial component of solar panels. It protects the photovoltaic cells inside from environmental factors and helps increase the durability of the panel. Making up about 75% of a solar panel's weight, glass can be recycled up to 95%. But to do this, we must separate the glass layer from the other layers of the panel without damaging them. To separate the glass effectively, we use specialized glass separating machines. These machines are designed to remove the glass layer without damaging other components, particularly the silicon photovoltaic cells inside. Once separated, the glass is processed in standard glass recycling systems. Modern glass separating machines can process thousands of panels per day with high precision and minimal waste. Recycled glass from solar panels can be reused in various industries. After separating the glass, we come to the most important part of the silicon panel, the silicon photovoltaic cells. This is where the conversion of sunlight into electricity takes place. Silicon is one of the most crucial materials in the solar energy industry and one of the most valuable components to recycle. The process begins by crushing the panels, which are fed into crushers that break them into small pieces. The mixture of crushed materials is then passed through sieves to separate them by size. The smaller particles are fed into an electrostatic separation chamber. In this chamber, the particles are exposed to a source of electric charge, which can be either a charged electrode or a spark discharge. This process causes the particles to carry different charges. A strong electric field is created in the chamber. This field affects the charged particles, causing oppositely charged particles to attract and like charged particles to repel. The particles with different charges move along the electric field lines and are collected at corresponding electrodes. Finally, we recover aluminum, copper, and silicon powder. Now we move on to thin film panels, a more specialized type of solar panel that requires a more complex treatment process. To recover precious metals like cadmium, tellurium, indium, and gallium from these panels, we use a chemical process. The first step in processing thin film panels is to grind them into small pieces. Industrial grinders cut and crush the panels into smaller pieces, increasing the surface area, which makes the following chemical processes more efficient. Once crushed, the panel fragments are placed in a chemical bath where the precious metals are dissolved into a special chemical solution. This process not only extracts the metals but also cleans impurities. Chemical baths use acid solutions or organic solvents to extract precious metals from the panels. These systems can recover up to 95% of the valuable metals, making the recycling process both efficient and economical. The precious metals once extracted are refined and reused in the production of new thin film panels or other electronic devices. This reduces reliance on new resource extraction and helps protect the environment.
Not all components of solar panels can be recycled. Some materials like EVA plastic and polymer films cannot be reused and need to be treated as industrial waste. These materials are incinerated in specialized waste incinerators. The incineration process helps recover energy from waste and reduces its negative impact on the environment. The energy recovered from waste incineration can be used to power the plant, making the recycling process more sustainable. Additionally, modern recycling plants optimize their processes to minimize the amount of waste generated from each panel. Waste incinerators can process hundreds of tons of waste materials per day and can recover up to 50% of the energy from the incineration process. This helps reduce the amount of industrial waste that needs to be managed using traditional methods like landfilling. While the solar panel recycling process has made significant progress, the industry still faces many challenges. The first challenge is cost. Recycling requires advanced technology and modern machinery, which increases operational costs. Additionally, the value of recycled materials like silicon or aluminum often does not offset the production costs. Another challenge is the scale of recycling. With the growing number of solar panels worldwide, expanding recycling facilities is necessary. However, building and operating a recycling plant requires large investments in modern technology to efficiently process the growing volume of panels. Moreover, environmental regulations pose a major challenge. Each country has different regulations for handling electronic waste, and recycling companies must comply with these rules, complicating the recycling process. Another challenge is public awareness. Although solar energy is considered a green energy source, many people are still unaware of the importance of recycling solar panels. This leads to many panels being discarded instead of being properly recycled. Addressing these challenges is not only the responsibility of recycling companies, but also society as a whole. We need investments in technology, increased awareness, and effective recycling systems to protect the environment and make the most of our resources. In today's video, we have seen the importance of recycling solar panels. This process not only helps us conserve resources, but also reduces the amount of electronic waste, which is one of the fastest growing types of waste globally. Recycling also reduces the dependence on extracting new resources, protects the environment, and minimizes pollution. Furthermore, it creates new opportunities for the green industry from developing recycling technologies to creating products from recycled materials. However, to achieve this, we need cooperation from multiple parties. It's not just the effort of manufacturers and recycling companies, but also the active participation of the public. Awareness of the importance of recycling and taking specific actions will be key to building a more sustainable future. Thank you for joining me on this journey to learn about the solar panel recycling process. I hope this video has helped you understand the importance of recycling and the challenges facing the industry. Don't forget to share this video to help spread awareness and encourage everyone to contribute to protecting the environment.